everybody. Welcome to the Drug Matter Podcast. I am your host, Sophia. Welcome to the show. I missed y'all. Oh my goodness, we have a really informational and fun show today. But first, I want to announce I got my wine back. I am drinking Oliver Dry Red Blend. I love Oliver Winery and Vineyards because they are located here in Indiana. I believe they're in Bloomington, which is by IU. So hey friends, hey. Um, in fact, we mostly drink Oliver and uh, other local wines like Urban Vines and um, things like that because I just love supporting my neighbors. This one's Oliver too. <laughs> Uh, that was the cherry Moscato, which is amazing. But anyway, um, I'm going to have wine today because it is nighttime, hence my PJs. <laughs> Since COVID, I've been going all out with my PJs because, I mean, we can't go nowhere. Might as well look cute at home. Am I right? I mean, it's really dry. It's really smoky. It will go really good with, like, a steak we had it we paired it with a cheese platter tonight which was amazing like a charcuterie is that how you say it is it charcuterie or charcuterie i all i know was a cheese board with some meat and like stuff on it it's really good and this smoky wine went really good with those like spicy and uh stink <laughs> jesus but anyway, today's show, we are going to look into some of my favorite unusual yarny tools. So this is great for people who knit and crochet. So I didn't forget you crocheters. I know you're out there. I see you. I see you. So let's get started with my top five favorite unusual weird knit crochet yarny tools. Let's go. Let me put my wine down. Hold on. My sister-in-law bought me this lamp. Do you like it? <laughs> it's very convenient for holding my wine during a podcast. Oh, and happy Valentine's Day, y'all. That's also why I got this cute outfit on. I wanted to be cute. My son ain't having it, but I wanted to be cute, okay? And look, I don't want to mess up my eyelashes, but... <laughs> <laughs> These were on sale at Target. Like, who let me in the Target? Like... <laughs> Who let me go on the Target? Y'all shouldn't let me go. <laughs> okay, so my first thing that I absolutely love, and this isn't really that unusual because I know a lot of y'all may see these, but this changed my life, are these reading lights. You see, so you can buy these from any craft store. And I call it a reading light, but really it's more of like a craft light. I've had reading lights. In fact, in the past, I've only used reading lights just because back in the day, that's what I was able to find. Um, but these guys came on the market and I got this one as a gift from my husband who bought it from Amazon. I'll link it below. But I love this one because it is chargeable. There's a charging port. So you don't have to worry about, where, where is it at? I have yet to charge it because it's, there it is. There's a charging port on it right there. So you don't have to worry about doing batteries. I've seen others in store. They are huge. They are usually really, really big. This is the smallest one I've seen that also didn't require batteries. So I'm going to put the link below for this. Absolutely adore it. Um, this is a great hack. And I find it way better than the ones you get in your craft stores. Just letting y'all know. If you're in the market for one, Amazon, okay? Another unusual yarn tool I have is the Yarnet. The Yarnet has been around for many, many years. Um, and the first time I saw the Yarnet, I was like, are you serious? Like, why do I need this? It looks like a snow globe. Um, I thought it was doing the most. But after having two cats, a dog, a bunny, and a baby, and a husband, I realized that I really need something to protect my yarn. And that's what the Yarnet does. So I have a ball of yarn here because my office is tiny. So literally everything is in grabbing reach. So there you go. And a yarn is essentially something that can hold your yarn. And what I like about it is that there's two places where you can pull yarn through. You can pull yarn through here and here on the sides. And then you can also pull yarn up high like this. So if you're using it for a center pull, I like that option. And as you can see, it's fairly big. I can fit fairly big skeins of yarn in here. I can do um, like worsted, Aran weight, maybe smaller bulky yarns. Um, but even with that, 
I usually use yarns that are bulky and below anyway. Um, I just I just like that gauge. <laughs> so everything that I use generally fits in here. They also make bigger sizes online. Um, I was able to find my yarn it at Michael's. I believe it was like $20, $30, which is a little pricey, but it's just amazing. You know what I like to do? When I go on car rides, it has like a non-skid like bottom. I sit this on the dashboard. Of course, I'm sitting passenger. I'm not driving, all right? And it's not going to move, you know, if the car stops short or if we make a turn. I know my yarn's going to stay put and be good. I also know if they sit on it, it's going to be good. Like this hard shell. Okay, I have a kitten. My yarn is always messed up because of my kitten. This yarn it, like, I am so mad at myself because I left the ball of yarn out yesterday and it got literally destroyed and I'm knitting the project and I wish I had it in my, ooh, I wish I had it in my yarn it. <laughs> so if you don't get anything from this list and if you have a full happy household like I do, then I highly recommend that you get the yarn it because it will protect your yarn. And I was able to get mine from Michaels, um, but you can buy it pretty much like online, um, their website obviously, but I've seen it at a lot of different craft stores. It's becoming way more streamlined now. I think this started as like a GoFundMe like years ago though. Like I vaguely remember that. Anyone else remember that? Comment below if you do. Am I like making this up? I don't know. <laughs> so my Next favorite yarn tool isn't quite a yarn tool, but I use it exclusively for yarn, and that is giant coffee mugs. And um, it's fairly big. Um, it holds 20 fluid ounces, so this this is a chunky one. And for size, let's see if I have a full skein of yarn anywhere. Oh, I do. This is like a full skin of yarn. It's not like a cake. A cake would obviously fit so good in here, but this is what I got. And if you put your yarn in, right, and then you pull from the center, I have a video of this, okay? Your yarn ain't going nowhere, and you got a handle. You got a handle. Why don't yarn bowls come with a handle? This is fantastic. You can just stick your needles, like hold on, look, ready? I got some needles. I got some needles. All right. You stick your needles. Oh, these are huge, but you know, just, just stick, stick with me here. Literally. Um, you stick your needles in there and you have a cute little cup of yarn. It is amazing. And I actually keep this yarn bowl on my end table in my living room. So that way, like I know my yarn is safe and I know I have a good place for it whenever I start a project because I almost always start a project in my knitting room. So right now this is empty because I'm of course I forgot to use it last night and then my cats got into it. Devastated. But <laughs> I really do adore using a big coffee mug. If you like big skeins of yarn, then I recommend using a soup bowl because soup bowls have those big handles so you can still hold it and it's big like a bowl, but you still got that handle, okay? So you can fit your big skeins of yarn. If I had a soup bowl in my house, I probably would be using it, but I just love that this one says yarn bowler. I got this from Steady. I got this from Michael's. Uh, a few weeks back they still have it in stock it's on like an end cap um and like they're like it's by like their pillows and decor and stuff it's not by the yarn at all so keep an eye out for this okay it's so stinking cute all right so lastly this is a very specific tool I get asked about this tool all the time and this is like my necklace stitch gauge and needle gauge and ruler I got this special um, from Katrinkles. This is a necklace. Um, it's made out of wood. Um, she has a studio somewhere in the Northeast, like somewhere in New England. And it's just a lovely small business, woman owned. Um, the quality is like a chef's kiss, like perfect. Um, I've bought from them several times. And I, but this is my favorite thing that I love. Um, almost all their stuff is like woodworked, um, like all their stitch markers and they have needle gauges, like bigger ones, obviously, and buttons, but this, I, this, okay, this, I use this thing more often than anything else in my tool stash. 
Okay, because first of all, it's a necklace with all of my essentials on it. Can I get it over my hair? Yes. It's cute, okay? She looks cute. And I will always know my needle size. I will always know if I'm on gauge because this goes over up to two inches, which is just what I need to check my stitch per inch or more. And I can check um, my, uh, the type of yarn I have. So there's like a wraps per inch gauge on here. And what that does is that it tells you, oh, my lips are so dry. I lost my chapstick from my wine. Hold on. Is that better? I hope so. So anyway, it tells you how thick your yarn is by how many times you wrap it. It's a little pricey. I believe I spent around 30 bucks on it. I'm going to put the the thingy here again so you can see um the the shop listing for it but honestly guys it is worth every penny all right guys so that's it um uh, before i sign off i want to mention that i am starting up my book club again um i'm gonna have hopefully by the time i upload this all the links are going to be below for um where you could uh join the book club where you can chit chat with us all about the pattern that's going to be released soon uh it's a mystery knit along book club in case you haven't joined us before for the last one it is so much fun but i implore everyone to join the book club it is free to join uh you don't even have to knit with us if you don't knit you can feel free to uh to read and discuss with us it's just so much fun so check it out yeah i hope to see you there anyway y'all it was so nice to talk to you and i will see you next week bye